Unc. It's terrible. It's awful. It's horrible. Well, if it isn't my whirlwind nephew, Scruff. What's the matter, kiddo? It's terrible. I've never seen anything like it. The walls and the furniture and everything. Hold it, Scruffo. Take it slow and take a deep breath. Now then, and what happened? The clubhouse on 4th Street. The one that Rosario, Santiago, and Miguel and their dads built? Yeah. How'd you know? Rosario called me about it this morning. I've called the local law enforcement people. They're working on the case, and you're right. It is a terrible thing. Some kids ruined what it took Rosario, Santiago, and Miguel months to build. Why would anyone want to wreck such a great clubhouse? Ah, uh, that's a good question, Scruff. Crimes like this one are known as hate crimes. Hate crimes? Right. A hate crime is a crime that people commit against other people they think of as different. You know, they might come from a different country or have different religious or personal beliefs. Or they might have different color skin. I don't get it. Why would anybody want to hurt another person because they're different? Well, kids and even some adults are sometimes afraid of what they don't understand. Oh, you mean like my math homework. When I don't understand it, which is most of the time, I get a little scared. You feel scared? Do you like doing your math homework, Scruffo? No way. I hate it. But how about once you understand it and can solve the problem? Then how do you feel? Oh, when I understand it, I feel better. And I, I never really like doing it, but I feel better. Well, it's the same with kids, Scruff. Once they understand other people, get to know them, they're not afraid anymore. Yeah, I know a lot of kids from all over the place. And we're all different. But still, we're all a lot alike. You're right. The fact is, it's easier and more fun to learn to make friends with all kinds of people than it is to hate them. But how can we help kids learn to like people that they think are different? I'll tell you what. Let's dip into my crime files. That way we can, uh, take a bite out of crime. What's the first story about, Unc? Well, it's about two friends of mine. Jun Lee and Myung Su, they created a terrific map for their geography project. They worked on it for weeks, making sure they had everything just right. There, it's perfect. I can't wait to show this to the rest of the class. Me too. I know, let's put it in a closet so it's safe. Okay. One of the sad things is that Jun Lee and Myung Su wanted everyone to be able to see our country's states, mountains, lakes, and rivers, the works. They were going to share their project with a whole school. Unfortunately, they never got the chance. something somebody else made. I don't get it. In this case, the kids did it because they didn't like people from other countries. But, but, but that's not fair. You shouldn't judge someone just because they're from another country. Just because somebody's not from around here, you're not supposed to hate them. Does that mean if I went somewhere else, they'd hate me? I mean, don't you need to get to know people before you can decide if you like them or not? Right. And you should never destroy their property, even if you don't like them. But these kids didn't think that way. And the consequences, you know, the results of the crime are pretty serious. Jun Lee and Myung Su had weeks of hard work ruined. Oh. No. Oh, I'm so sorry this happened. It was such a beautiful project. Can we rebuild it, Miss Armstrong? I'm afraid not. We don't have any more money left for supplies this semester. You mean none of our classmates will get to see our map? 
No, I... I'm sorry. Jun Li and Myung Su weren't the only ones hurt by what happened. They weren't? No, sir. All our classmates were affected. Since the supplies were destroyed, nobody could work on class projects, no art projects, no math projects, no history projects, nothing. Wow, those guys ruined things for lots of kids. They sure did. They even ruined things for themselves. You see, the next day, the school police caught the two who did it. They were arrested on the school playground right in front of their friends and classmates. Wow, that's embarrassing. It was more than embarrassing. They were taken to the station, charged, then released into their parents' custody. Let me tell you, it was the worst day of their lives. And in a month, they have to appear in court before a judge. You can bet they wish they never committed that crime. I guess in the long run, everyone gets hurt by a hate crime, right, Unc? Right, Scruff. You know, I think it's important for kids to find ways to learn about their differences and solve their problems without causing a lot of trouble. It's always important to find peaceful ways to settle arguments or misunderstandings. But how can kids do that? I mean, I bet it's harder than it sounds. Well, I'll open another crime file and tell you a story about two good friends of mine, Wendy and Malcolm. They work together to find a peaceful way to solve a misunderstanding. Come on. I bet you can't hit the ball. Let's see you try. Come on. Do it. Hey. Right. It started one afternoon over at the baseball field. Wendy and her friends had just finished playing, and they were plenty thirsty. You guys, can we go get a drink of water or something? Yeah, sure, sure. They left their equipment on the field, and they walked over to the water fountain. You should yeah. learn how to hit. Thank you. Catch. No, no way. Yeah. Yeah. I can't Oh, man. Oh, man. Man, I can't believe those jerks on our field. Yeah. I said we teach them a lesson. Yeah, good idea. How about we trash their stuff? Yeah, let's do it. Wait a second. Maybe we should think about this first. Hey, when it's those kind of people on our field, there's no need to think. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 hurry up. Hurry. What's she looking at? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, look who's about to use the ball field. Not today, they're not. <laughs> but why can't they use it, too? Don't you get it, Wendy? Those kind of people aren't welcome here. Yeah. If we want to use the ball field, they have to wait till we're through. Come on, let's go show them who they're dealing with. Seems like the two bunches of kids didn't like each other at all. You're right, but most of them hardly knew each other. Then why did they want to fight instead of talk? Because they didn't take the time to try and understand each other and talk about the real problem. At least, not until Wendy and Malcolm stepped up to bat. Hey, what do you think you're doing with our stuff? It's in our way, and now we're gonna make you sorry. Listen up. When we're using the field, you guys find something else to do. Man, after we get through with our stuff, you Stop won't. Stop it, you guys. Can't we find a way to solve this so we're all happy? Hey, why don't you just shut Maybe she's right. I mean, we all wanna play ball. If we start beating on each other, no one's gonna be doing any ball playing. All right, all right, all right. Maybe we should talk about this. Wendy and Malcolm cooled things down. That's okay. That's not all they did. They found a peaceful way to solve the differences between the two groups. Yeah? How'd they do that? They had people on both sides talk about what, why, and how. What do you mean, what, why, and how? What the problem was? why it was a problem, and how it could be solved. Okay, so what do you guys think the problem is? The problem is we don't want them using the field. But why? 
Because we don't like them. That's why. But do you even know any of them? Well, um, I guess I don't. But none of us know them well enough to know if we like them or not, do we? No. And we don't know them, do we? No. So the real problem isn't the baseball field. It's that we don't know each other. And why do you think that is? I guess because we don't hang out together. You guys agree with that? Yeah, but we don't have anything in common. How do you know? Well, I guess I don't. Then the reason why we don't know each other is that we don't spend any time talking or hanging out together. So then maybe the answer is to start spending some time together. Like maybe right now. Yeah, we could share the field. Like even choose up teams to play a game. Yeah. What do you say? Okay. Cool. Let's, okay. Let's go. Cool. Let's play ball. Now, if Wendy and Malcolm hadn't been able to solve the problem, they were both willing to walk away to say, I'm out of here. Good idea. And they were also willing to tell a responsible adult. Kids shouldn't be afraid to report a hate crime if they see one happening or about to happen. Boy, it would sure be great if we could get rid of all hate crimes. Well, there just might be a way for kids to do that, Scruff. Really? How? By building friendships with boys and girls from different cultures and different backgrounds. In fact, let me tell you a story about Charlie Blair, about how I helped him become friends with Pedro and Anita, two kids with backgrounds different from his own. One afternoon, I spotted Charlie as he was about to spray paint bikes that belonged to Pedro and Anita. Hold it there, Charlie. What do you think you're doing? Um, nothing, McGruff, nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, it looks to me like you're about to spray paint those bikes. And that's a shame, not to mention a crime. Pedro and Anita worked hard to earn those bikes. Yeah, well, they deserve to have them wrecked. They do? Why is that? Because they talk funny and they're always talking Spanish to each other, so you can't even understand them. Why would that make you want to wreck their bikes? Well, my dad says that everybody should talk English, and anybody who doesn't is just lazy and no good. I see. Uh, tell me, Charlie, do you speak any languages besides English? No. So you don't know how easy or difficult it might be to learn another language. Well, no, I don't. But you're about to commit a crime against Pedro and Anita because you don't like the way they speak your language. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds pretty dumb. You weren't thinking, Charlie. But I'll tell you something. I know some ways you can make friends with people who seem different than you. You do? You bet. What do you say we find Pedro and Anita and give it a try? Well, I guess they'd be all right. Sure, let's go. What did you teach, Charlie, Unc? Well, there are four basic ways kids can make friends with someone from a different background. In fact, these are ways you can make friends with anyone. First off, kids need to realize that a lot of people are different in some ways but they should learn to respect those differences. Yeah, I see what you mean, Unc. Every kid deserves respect. What else did you teach, Charlie? That it's important to ask questions and listen. That way you learn about other people. What makes them happy, sad, what sports they like to play, what subjects they like to study. You mean what makes them special? Exactly. So you know a lot about soccer? Oh, yeah, where my mother and father come from, everybody plays. My cousins are all on the team. Yeah, where I come from, after the soccer game, we all gather for a big fiesta and eat some great food. Yeah, like what? Oh, chicken enchiladas, chips and guacamole. Guacamole? <laughs> yeah, guacamole. Very good. By asking questions and listening, Charlie learned about Pedro and Anita. They told him about the places they had lived and what it's like to move to a new country with a new language. 
The more Charlie learned, the easier it was for him to do the next thing kids need to do when making new friends. What's that, Hunk? To accept and appreciate what makes the other person special. To like people for who they are, not what they look like or where they come from, right? Right. Then it's easier to be yourself and practice the next skill, telling them what makes you special. I've tried soccer a couple of times, but I don't seem to be very good at it. Well, it's not so hard when you know how to watch for the ball and the moves that you want to make. Sure, soccer is fun. Come on, why don't we play a little? It will help you to practice. Well, I guess that'd be all right. Sure, let's go. OK, so the first thing you want to do is keep your eye on the ball. OK. What a terrific story. Instead of building a roadblock between himself and Pedro and Anita, Charlie built a, a bridge. Hey. That's a great way to look at it, Scruff. You impress me sometimes. Now, do you remember what kids need to do in order to make friends with people who seem a little different? Sure. They need to respect what makes people different. Ask questions and listen. Accept and understand what makes other people special. And tell them what makes you special, too. Righto, Scruffo. Righto. You see, nephew, by getting to know each other better, Charlie, Pedro, and Anita created new learning experiences and new friendships. In fact, Charlie felt so good about his new friends that he went home and told his dad about them and how much they taught him about soccer. Hey, maybe Charlie's dad will even get to know Pedro and Anita. Maybe he will. And that would be terrific, because the better we know each other, the better we can all get along. Now, what do you say we go help Rosario, Santiago, and Miguel rebuild their clubhouse? Yeah, great idea. That way we can all get to know each other better. And help take, take a, a bite, bite out, out of crime. crime.